Hello everybody, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I am bringing you an unboxing of a mystery box of jewelry. This one is a Goodwill blue box and there are five pounds, or there is five pounds of jewelry in this box. I opened it already, accidentally not running the video, not recording, but uh, we'll pick up from there. We will see what we have and let's open it up and just get started. Okay, so this is what we see when we first open the box. We're going to take a look at each piece. I'm going to dump it out in a clear box right there and then we will examine each piece. Let me backtrack a second to show you that this box has come from Waco, Texas. And this did come out of my stash of boxes to unbox. You can see that this ship date was March 30th of 2021, and now we are in early August of 2021. What a way to start out this box. This is awesome. This is obviously a statement piece. It is Bohemian, very tribal brass tone pieces, little teardrop pieces with some danglies here really cool stamped out gold tone uh, little dangles on all around the necklace and also there are these ivory colored disc beads that I believe are bone there are also some beads right here these beads here they feel like they are ceramic and they've got like splashes of metallic paint I believe on them very uh, much look like they're carved all right, going up the necklace, it's finished with this uh, swirly hook closure here and these really cool ceramic bead dangles at the end. I am very happy with this first piece. And as a reminder, I am a full-time seller on eBay. So whenever I unbox these mystery boxes, I'm looking for items that I can possibly list in my eBay store. And also I do sell directly to my YouTube viewers. So if you do see something that you might be interested in purchasing, you can drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Right here on the screen is my email. And I also drop it down below the video in the description box. This is a great necklace. This is a vintage necklace made of acrylic, white, smooth, chunky beads. This necklace is easier to see when I hold it up close against my hand because of the white background. It's not as easy to see when it's laying on the table. But check out these, these acrylic beads, chunky with these little tiny white beads in between. I love the simple design on this one. It's definitely 1970s and there is your spring clasp. I think somebody would definitely love this necklace and I will be selling this one. This next necklace is a five strand necklace. It's made with apple green dyed shell chips and bugle beads and seed beads. Check it out closer right here. I think those light green bugle beads are a great combo with the dark apple green shells. And you know, I used to have a car this color. I used to have a VW bug that I, I got painted that apple green. My car got stolen by the way but anyway i digress <laughs> and the rest of the necklace is finished off with the bugle and seed beads alternating it's finished with a lobster clasp and this extender this is a cute fashion piece it's very beachy here are a bunch of rhinestone bangles i just grabbed as i saw i think i got them all if not oh wait a minute there are two more i see hold on oop three more okay Three more I just found. So here they are. I don't think they are all meant to go together. So let me segregate these to see if I can find all the matching ones. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing here. These three go together and they do have some rhinestones and some textured uh, components here, but there are a couple of missing crystals there. There's another one there. So um, let's see, these two look like they have all of the crystals there. So this one here is the one that um, is missing. So I will set those aside. They might go in my craft lot. This is the rest of them. Now this one here, it's larger as far as chunkier or thicker than the other ones. And as I'm looking, uh, these two look a little bit different than the rest. So. I guess these all don't go together. 
but you get the idea. There is a rhinestone missing here, and I'm just going to turn it slowly and see about any other missing ones. I don't know if that's the one I just pointed out or not. I'm losing track, but you get it. Uh, lots of crystal rhinestone uh, bracelet bangles, and I might just pick the ones that are missing crystals out, put them in the craft lot, and maybe sell the rest together in a set. These two pieces are going in the craft lot. Uh, this has some really cool components in it. A couple of them are scratched. But it's a, it's a no-name necklace with a lot of wear on the actual chain. So that's going in the craft. And this is just a lightweight beaded necklace that I'm sure someone could do something with in a craft lot. This one I want to show you up close to start off. These are actually plastic beads. They are copper in color and they are finished to make it look like they have that copper green patina really neat looking uh, this will likely end up in the craft lot i'm looking close right here you can see that there is a strand missing right there um, but really cool very clever as far as the finish making it look like real copper beads that are patinaed and just to give you an idea of what it looks like laid out, I've got to mention too that the size beads vary on this one. So this is definitely a great craft piece. Okay, next is this bag of earrings. Let's open it up and see what these are. Here they are, all the specially bagged earrings that are nothing special really. <laughs> um, this is a matching pair and the little cupcakes are a matching pair but mm, they, they're kind of worn. So other than getting my magnet out to see if a couple of these might be sterling silver, uh, that would be a no. And let's say this could be sterling. So I'll put that aside, maybe put it in my scrap lot. And yeah, these I thought could be also sterling silver. These are not, and I'm sure these other ones are not. So, all right, rest of these are going in craft and let's move on. Here's a pretty piece. This is a pearl bracelet. It is knotted and I love the colors on this one. I'm not sure what you would call the shape of the pearls, but I love the colors. They have like a, a dusty purple, a very pale yellowish ivory, and then an even lighter, to me, it's like a purpley gray. And the clasp on this is a textured barrel shaped and it is magnetic. The weight on this is substantial. It feels very well made and definitely I am going to be selling this one. Here is another bag, a couple of items in it. All right, it looks like we have a couple of watches. Here is the first watch. This is great. This is a bracelet watch. It's got the hinge there. And on the face, it says Versailles Quartz. This doesn't seem to be running. And I love this stone inset on each side. That's really, really pretty. The watch itself is in pretty good shape. Um, on the back, it does look like this little panel is a little darker than this. That might polish out. I'm not sure. And there is the back. So that's a great looking watch. I like this one. Here's that next watch. Now this is very pretty also. Right there it says China. Uh, this is faux turquoise. It's a bracelet style watch with these little links, silver tone. No scratches that I can see on the crystal itself. This one does not seem to be running and I don't see a maker's mark on the face there. Let's see what we have over here. This one has a lobster clasp closure so there is some adjustability there. Uh, because there's an extender so you can choose the fit. And again, there's the back side of the watch there. So this is a great looking piece too. Maybe just a battery and you're good to go. Here is another white vintage necklace. This has two strands, really cool plastic beads. They, they are dirty, so this one needs to be cleaned up. But do you see how they have the like a little texture, a little pebbly look to them. This is more like a collar length or choker length necklace, and it's definitely vintage. 
here's the end on the necklace right there and this one has that hook closure and this is pretty worn out right there so no name on this one but again a really fun vintage necklace so any vintage lovers out there this is a pretty cool one it just needs to be cleaned up this group of jewelry I will not be selling. This is going in the craft lot. Uh, some is wearable, like this one's wearable. No missing pieces, no missing crystals. Uh, inexpensive plastic beaded necklace there, a parachute cord bracelet, and some very cute wooden beads. I think this was supposed to be, uh, well, it is an earring, I think, that's missing a hook. I couldn't find the other one. So all of that's going in craft. Here are a couple of pins, stick pins, and a pin brooch. Let's start with this one. This brooch is gold tone. It's Victorian style with this scroll work all around, and it doesn't have any scratches on it. It's in really good shape. Here's the back of the piece. This has a rollover clasp. I do not see any marks on this one. Actually, it, it feels kind of lightweight, but it's great looking. This sweet little stick pin is a gold tone textured bear. He is so cute. Um, I'm turning him over here and there is a mark on this one. The mark on that is Trafari. I love his little face. I mean, who doesn't love a little textured teddy bear with a belly button, huh? <laughs> and also I forgot to show that the, his end is intact right there. So he is pretty darn cute. Here is the last stick pin which is a cameo. It's gold tone and it's got little tiny faux pearls on each side of it, all four sides. The one on the bottom is missing however. That's too bad. This is actually very pretty. Let's turn it over and I am seeing a mark on there. This stick pin is an Avon piece. This one also still has the bottom closure, but I will have to put this one in a craft lot because of that one missing little faux pearl. This is a super unique piece. This is a choker or a collar style necklace. It has a very long extension on it. The cord is denim and you can see that these two pendants are curved cork. I love unique pieces like this. This is quite unusual. This, I've never seen anything like it, but it's definitely, it's real cork and it has these little angled silver tone uh, end caps or finishes, I should say, at the end of these cork pieces. And there are the two cords. This is in great shape. Here is that long extender and here is the jewelry tag. Ah, this is a Chico's piece. This is a very artistic choker collar necklace and I love it. I would wear this for sure. Here's a very sweet necklace, a very delicate chain with tiny ball stations. It looks like it could be sterling silver. So I'm pulling this magnet out and I am not seeing an attraction. So it's not magnetic. This looks like it's probably a choker style, maybe a collar necklace. But look how delicate that chain is. I really like this one. You can see that it is finished with a lobster clasp and there are no markings as far as sterling silver, but I will give this a test and we will see right here on the screen if I found this to be sterling silver or not. Here is a bracelet on memory wire. Most of these beads are plastic. Now there are some glass beads, some art glass beads, I guess, uh, lamp work beads that are scattered in through here, but most of them are plastic. I'm noticing here that someone put a, a metallic, uh, metallic, I always do that, magnetic uh, end to this, but on the other side, if there was a magnetic end, it's missing. So, but with these, memory wire bracelets, you don't really need a magnetic end. They just kind of stay on your arm because of the nature of this wire. In any case, it's not a bad piece, but it's probably going in the craft lot. I really like this set. Look at this. This is a mermaid set earrings and necklace. 
Obviously, the earrings are still on the card. It looks like a price may have gotten cut out there. CT collection. Now, this one, um, the it's like a almost like a faux dichroic glass in that teal blue. Has like an opalescent sheen to it. Really fun. Here's what the other side of the earring card and the necklace look like. There's just the earrings right there, and I'm going to put those down and show you the pendant necklace and show you the chain. That's a very nice chain. So I think this, this is a brand new set right here. This one is finished with a lobster clasp and an extender. This is definitely a cute set, and I think there are lots of mermaid lovers out there who might be happy with this set. This is an awesome handmade seed bead bracelet. It's an alligator or a crocodile. I don't know how you would tell the difference in this case, but loving these rainbow colors on his body. He's got white eyes. Look at his feet. And I'm going to take you all around the, the bracelet itself and show you. This is so cute. It's got these teal beads, and then as you turn it, you can see that rainbow beads covered as well. This one has an adjustable clasp, so you have this little seed bead uh, button, and you can take it off of that loop, and you can fit it to your wrist because it has those adjustable loops on there. This is just so adorable. I just love it. Here is a travel brooch. It's in gold tone. We have some texture to it on the both the suitcase and we can see that USA has some texture on it. The rest of the gold looks like it's brushed gold. We can see our airplane charm, the Eiffel Tower. How cute. So this would be perfect for a traveler, anyone in the travel industry, maybe a flight attendant or a pilot. Really neat. Now let's take a look at the back and this has a rollover clasp. Let me get that back into focus better here. And there is a stamp that says RVP, which I'm not sure quite what that stands for. I like this and you can wear it as a brooch or you could put it as an embellishment maybe on a handbag. This is a fun one. Here is another brooch. This is adorable. This is a nurse's brooch and look at all the details. So you can see that the nurse has a chart in her hand. It actually says chart right there. We have a band-aid, we have a syringe, and let's see, we have a stethoscope there. And it looks like she could also be wearing a stethoscope. And then we've got a black enamel piece back behind her and these, uh, this green and pink flower. This is adorable. Let's take a look at the back of it. Then this one is does not have a name on it. We have a rollover clasp. So this is just the sweetest thing ever. So if you're a nurse or you know one, wouldn't this be perfect for a gift? This is so cute. Here are two necklaces that are quite common in some of these mystery boxes. This, I think, is a reproduction from J. Crew's piece from, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, possibly. Uh, but that's going to go in the craft lot. It's a little bit lightweight. This is kind of cool, but also sort of like that bubble necklace. I like this one because the beads or these little plastic cabochons are faceted. Maybe you can see the facets better at this angle. And I love it. It's like a tomato red. So the chain on this one is decent. It's a gold tone Rolo chain. There's a lobster clasp. It's not marked or anything. So the green one will definitely go in a craft lot. This one, this red one, I might put in one of my jewelry lots. We'll have to see. This is quite a long necklace. It's very attractive. This is a silver tone, almost like an antique silver tone curb chain on this. And at the end of the necklace is this great looking pendant made with gray and kind of taupey crystals. Now, as I'm looking at this up close, I can see that they are kind of scratched up. Oh, darn. I thought maybe I could sell this, but it is going to end up in a craft lot. And I may as well show you the tassel here, but it didn't, didn't make the cut because of the damage on these little crystals here. But the chain is in great shape. That's too bad. Well, you can't win them all. So this one is going in the craft lot. Here is a vintage butterfly pendant necklace. 
this is pretty cute this has black enameling it's in gold tone and there's the back of it right there the chain is in very good shape it's gold tone i want to make sure i'm in focus for you there there we go so that's a look at the chain this is finished with a spring clasp and there's a little jewelry tag right there the jewelry tag is Eamon's. This is definitely a vintage piece and I'll likely resell it. I am going to look into this particular piece online and see what the resale value might be on it. Oh my gosh, I love jewelry like this. This is a necklace and it is made up of all these tiny rectangular tabs of different colors. I love what happens when they move around. Look at this. This is super cool. I don't know if there's a name for these things, but look at it. And I like these colors too. This is a lot of fun. I think this is a vintage piece. Look how fun that is. Look how these things move around and it, they move on your neck as you wear it. It's very long. And yes, this is vintage. Look at that barrel clasp right there. There's not a name on this one and it may be handmade. I don't know, but I just really love it. Do you guys like it or is it just me? <laughs> I love this one. Here's the next piece. That's quite unique. And by the way, what do you guys think of this box so far? I think it's pretty interesting. A, a very eclectic mix in this one. In any case, taking a look at this piece, this is really unique. I do think it is handmade. Um, we have like a faux leather, I think it's faux leather, black cord, and that connects to the rest of the necklace here, which looks like rock candy to me. Who remembers rock candy? Do they even still make that anymore? Um, but the, this is like a clear cord, sort of a raw cut, and they have these little brass tone, little disc spacers in between there's a better look at those they're kind of that rough cut and the other interesting thing is that this is designed with this lobster clasp in the front so this is quite different look at this bracelet this is made of shell this is really pretty very interesting um, there are a couple of black panels or little inlays right there you can feel that it's definitely an inlay I don't know if that's onyx or exactly what that is but there's another one right there and this is just really interesting um, it, it, it's just very unique I'm gonna try this on I really like the way it easily slips over the hand because I sometimes have trouble trying bangles on maybe because I have unusually large hands but in any case I love that I could just slip my hand right through that this is interesting this next piece is a cross pendant necklace in silver tone. Uh, the pendant's really attractive. It's got this antiqued finish, like a filigree, like dotted filigree, and it has a hematite center with some colorful plastic cabochon surrounding it. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Um, let's turn it over, and this is marked Avon. It's a very pretty Avon necklace, and I also like the chain that it's on. You can see there that it's an oval chain, and it has some texture to it. Really pretty. There's the end of the necklace. It's finished with a spring clasp. That's quite a pretty one from Avon, and I'm definitely going to put that in my cell pile. Here's another cross pendant necklace. This is quite pretty, too. This is silver tone, and it has these AB crystals and some yellow faceted uh, cabochon crystals. I'm looking very closely to see if I can see anything that might be missing, and I can't quite tell. There may be a missing stone right there, but it's hard to tell through the camera. This is what the back of the necklace looks like. And then going up the necklace, there are these faceted links, crystal links, sort of an AB-ish finish, but they are plastic links, and it's a uh, rosary style. The clasp on this is a lobster clasp, and it has a super long extender on it. At the end of the extender is this jewelry tag, VCLM. 
I am familiar with that brand and I have sold some pieces by VCLM. So this will probably go in my cell pile after I examine it closer for all the stones. I want to make sure they're all there. This is really pretty though. Here comes another bracelet. It looks like it's too tiny to be a bracelet for an adult, doesn't it? But it's not. It's, um, it's just a vintage bracelet and it's got these really cool plastic beads. I think they're moon glow, correct me if I'm wrong, but they have this very light periwinkle-y color to them and these little gold beads in between. Now I'm gonna try this on to show you that it actually fits an adult. There we go. So I love the beads, I love the sheen of this, these beads and it's a very cool vintage piece. I love these. I at first only thought there was one and I was so happy to find the pair. So these would be either bumblebees or flies. Now, you know I have a hard time sometimes identifying animals because my last video I called something a goat and it was a llama. <laughs> but I know this isn't a goat or a llama. This is either a bee or a, a fly. So what do you think, guys? I think these are adorable. They are these white and green enameled striped bodies and then crystals on the wings. The metal is gold tone and of course they are on a hook. I don't think these have a name. I'm looking on the back and nope, they don't. Here's that little creature up close. So, so cute. All of these items are going in craft. These are all stretch bracelets, silver and gold tone. Um, you can use the components. The wires are, I mean, the elastic is feeling kind of stretched out. So they're going in craft. I just wanted to show you that I found another one of those bracelets that I had earlier that I'm going to put that with the rest of the group. Okay, so the rest back to the craft lot. Uh, inexpensive uh, pearls with a cute little um, faux toggle and another bracelet. This is a handmade necklace and I really like these beads. These are uh, either, I don't think they're Raku, these are ceramic beads in like a maroon and gold combination like that. And they put some red beads or red crystals with like a pink seed bead. Mm, I'm not sure that I'm crazy about that selection. I just am in love with these ceramic beads. Here's the rest of it. It's definitely a handcrafted piece. It's finished with a lobster clasp right there and an extender. I'm just picturing pulling these beads off and making a pretty cool bracelet with it, but I don't know, that's just me. These are cute. These are plastic heart beads, clear plastic heart beads. And I don't know if they are supposed to be, um, this is supposed to be a bracelet or just the way that they put these together in preparation to use in a different project. In any case, I love beads. Here is another very unique necklace. Now what I'm showing you here is the end because it has these three dangly pendants at the end in different lengths. So these pendants are these white like petals in white enamel painted. They are metal and these uh, teardrop shaped gold tone dangles coming down from the center. So there's a lot of movement there. And I just think it's really cool. These are ha hanging on a short little chain, each of them. And then each one is strung on this serpentine gold tone necklace or chain. There's the end of the necklace. We've got an extender and a lobster clasp. There is no name on this one. Well, there you have it. Another unique piece. I happen to like it. It just catches my eye. Really different. Here is a faux leather bracelet in pink and it's got these nautical charms, an anchor, a wheel, and a sailboat. And this says $10. This was a Charming Charlie's. It was reduced to five. Here's the clasp. It looks like a, yeah, it's a magnetic clasp there. So this is very cute. I like both the pendant and the chain on this necklace. This is a shorter necklace and the pendant has like a plastic clear faceted top to it. You can kind of see it better here. I also love the way it's set in this frame right here. And on the back, it has this little panel, like a painted pinkish purple panel in the back that makes it look like it's possibly reverse painted, but that's kind of cool. Here is a look at the chain. It's an oval chain. It's in terrific shape. 
There's the lobster clasp. And the, funny, the clasp itself has a little bit of wear, but the rest of the necklace is impeccable. Um, there is a tag right there. And I knew that was Avon because Avon's tags are often shaped like this. This is a very attractive necklace, and I think this could be sold. Next is this strand of citrine chip beads. These are so pretty. These can be worn as they are around your neck, or if you're a jewelry designer, of course, you can deconstruct this strand and use them in your jewelry designs. I have used citrine in my own jewelry designs. I know I've combined it with turquoise. That's great looking and carnelian and other natural, or I should say earth tone colors. But this is a great strand of beads. I love that natural stones have different shades. So these are golden yellow, but of course, some of the beads are darker and richer and some of them are, are lighter. So I love that about natural gemstones. That, my friends, is a wrap. Thanks for coming in for another video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of this box. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.